Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to an excited Wrestling Days because my good friend Cal W has sent me an image that's doing the rounds on Twitter right now. This apparently has been shown in the Connecticut area and it's getting people talking. It looks legit from the picture. Uh, and this apparently is the lineup for this year's men's money in the bank match. Now that's a big deal because there's a lot of superstars that want to be in this match. And when I show you the graphic, you'll see there's a lot of superstars that haven't made it into this match. For example, no Braun Strowman, no Shinsuke Nakamura, no Jeff Hardy, uh, no Rusev, no Ali. Ali, one of the biggest rising stars they've got for whatever reason, according to this graphic, doesn't make the men's money in the bank match. Uh, so let's have a look at who has made it. Here's the image uh, sent to me by Cal W uh, on Twitter. And uh, yeah, this is absolutely Brilliant. I'm so excited for this. Uh, and I really like this lineup. Uh, Drew McIntyre, there's a lot of people that are really into Drew. They want Drew to be that next monster heel. Um, for me, I don't think he's quite there yet. Uh, but maybe winning money in the bank would help him reach that next level. Uh, Cesaro, quite a surprise. Obviously, he's in the tag team, the bar. Uh, Sheamus is out with concussion at the moment. Um, and so we're not sure when Sheamus will come back. According to this graphic, looks like they're ready to push Cesaro as a single star. Um, he is an absolutely fantastic wrestler. Um, but uh, yeah, would you put him in this match at the expense of someone like Ali? Doesn't feel quite right, does it? Next up, we've got Rey Mysterio, uh, who I fully expected to see in this match. That's not a great surprise. Uh, then we've got Ricochet, again exactly the same, you want to put your high flyers into this ladder match, uh, give you those eye catching moments, both of those are certainly going to do that. Uh, next, Alistair Black, uh, one of the most exciting superstars they've got right now, fantastic entrance, brilliant moveset. Um, MMA abilities, you know, he's, he's got it all. He has got it all. Uh, he could be a mega star for them. So I really am enjoying watching his development. Uh, next up, the man that I want to see win this, Andrade. Andrade, absolutely fantastic performer. Had a great feud with uh, Mysterio at the start of the year. And uh, I just really feel like now's the time to push him to that next level. Uh, you can see, though, how stacked this match is. Like, you can't push Alistair Black and Ricochet and Drew McIntyre and Andrade. There's, there's so much talent in WWE right now. It's crazy. Uh, and then the final person, Lars Sullivan, the monster of SmackDown Live. Obviously, you've got Braun Strowman on Raw. Now you've got Lars Sullivan over on SmackDown. So Braun doesn't make this match, but Lars Sullivan does. So there you go, guys. That is apparently the rumoured lineup for this year's Money in the Bank. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Who do you think is missing? Who did you want to see in the match? But more importantly, who do you think will win? WWE apparently want to go bigger with uh, the winner this year. They feel like they've kind of messed it up the past few years. So they're going to make a massive deal out of whoever wins it this year. So I wouldn't expect that person to cash it in on that show. I think they're going to carry it for a while. Um, so I feel like a heel is best to win because if a face wins, if a good guy wins, they normally tell you, I'm going to cash this in at SummerSlam. And, and that takes the fun out of it. I like it when they just run down, cash it in, perfect heel cash-ins. Things like Ziggler, that was an amazing cash-in. Or Seth Rollins, that was an amazing cash-in. So, yeah, I'm hoping for Andrade. Awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.